Okay guys, without further ado, it's time to show you guys the progress on the garage. And uh, before we do that, I definitely want to show you guys these features that's been done on the car. All these companies have been helping us out a ton. And I definitely, definitely got to give a big shout out to them on every single one of these posts that's just happened. And uh, just in the past couple of weeks, the Full Metal Goat, this bad boy right here, this thing has been blowing up like crazy. The likes has been throughout the roof. I mean, it's been crazy. I cannot be more thankful for everyone for their shares, for their comments, um, for all these companies, for all they're doing. This is awesome. And if you guys would like to jump on board with this thing, you want to share it on your page or you want to get involved with the team, hey man, holla at me. We'll hook you up. We'll make something happen. Uh, you help me out, I help you guys out. It's just how this deal kind of works. But uh, again, thank you guys so much. And uh, let's see how this garage is doing. What's going on, guys? I thought it was time to do a nice little progression video on the garage build there. Uh, it's been over a year now. Well, actually, right at a year now since we started on the build. And uh, I know you guys have seen the car go from the old side to the new side now. And uh, we've had a lot, of, a lot of things going on in the background to make this happen. And I just thought I'd show you guys how it went down. But uh, pretty much we had to start digging out the front of my shop there. And currently at that point, it was a 31 by 31. And I wanted to turn it into a 31 by 62. And uh, we just started digging it out. Hired some good group of guys to come out and help me out on digging it out. And uh, there's me and Hannah. And uh, there was a ton of digging involved in this deal just to get it all leveled out, believe it or not. I think there ended up being like eight loads of dirt that end up coming out of that right there. It was a lot more than what I was expecting. But uh, here we go. We've got the uh, footers all dug out there. And um, it was a pretty interesting deal, that's for sure. But if you guys are wanting to build your own shop or anything like that, I highly suggest you do your research first and go to the city or to the county and make sure you can get all the pre-approvals done before you get started. But uh, here we are, we are now putting the concrete in for the footers, so the rebar is in, and uh, we are really rocking and rolling at this point. And uh, there you guys go, you can see the footers are poured. And this was a really cool step right here, I kind of really got to see how big this place was really going to be. But um, I ended up subcontracting out the block walls, and I just found out that'd be the easiest way to handle that. And uh, the guys I hired, man, they knocked it out literally in two days. And um, I told them where I wanted my garage doors, told them where I wanted my man door, and they just knocked it out. And uh, it looks awesome. And they did a really good job with it. But uh, here we go, we got our gravel, and uh, there we just got our concrete poured for the floor. And uh, we're really moving at this point. I mean, we really got a ton of stuff done and knocked out. And uh, those are basically the, the things I had to get subcontracted out. The rest of it I knew I could pretty much handle on my own. Then the bad weather hit. So it started snowing and uh, this is pretty much what happened and put us at a stop for a little bit. This happened, started snowing. My Pontiac's covered in snow. My materials, I finished building my garage is covered in snow. And everything else is covered in snow. So. We ain't finished in the garage this weekend, it don't look like. But we're gonna work on the other Pontiac instead. Hope everybody has a good weekend. Okay, so finally the weather cleared up enough so we can start putting the trusses up. And I just had some prefabbed trusses made so we can just really move with it pretty quickly. And I hired some guys to help me get this little portion knocked out right here. And uh, man, they really knew what they were doing. and. I just helped them where they needed help at, and then we put the roof on it. And uh, honestly, the roof was really wasn't that bad either where I went with 10. The biggest thing was getting the pieces cut there at the gabled in part, and uh, here we are, we're dried in. And uh, so far at this point, probably at the, I'd say about the three or four month area there on how long it's taken me to get to this point, but doing little things that I can do on my own and then hiring for some help. We're rolling today, check this out. We're getting our walkway done there, going to the garage. 
had to do that because of the city, but you gotta do what you gotta do to make it happen. And we're getting that put in. Right now I'm working on my soffit up underneath here. I'll switch this around, let you guys see this here. It's looking pretty good though. We're rolling, man, we are rolling. And right here you guys can see we've moved on to the other side there where we're getting the soffits put in. And I uh, really worked my hind end off on getting these done. And I end up turning out pretty nice. But uh, I think I've got a little clip here at night time where you can actually see the soffits are done before the gutters get put on. And uh, it turned out pretty good. And uh, I'll tell you that was definitely a little bit high up there, higher than what I like to be on the little ladder there. But got it done. And there's a little walkway you guys can see it goes to the shop. Yeah, here you go. You can see the soffits now put in. And this is before I painted the shop. And you guys have seen the YouTube video there of when me and Jesse and Hannah, when we all painted the outside there. Okay, so now we've moved into the inside of the shop here. And um, I put end up putting some uh, UFO LED high bay lights in it. And um, I subcontracted out the electrical work as well just to help me keep all this stuff moving and uh, save me some time wise. And um, we started running into some problems on the old side where it was such an old shop. And those guys end up having to rewire almost all of the old side to get it up to code because it just had a bunch of junk in it pretty much. But uh, we got those problems fixed, put a new panel in, and uh, now we're up to code and we're in good shape. But those are just some things you kind of go through when you're dealing with an older building and then adding on to it and fixing electrical issues. Uh, if you guys are wondering about the water there on the wall, we got some insane amount of water rain wise and uh, it, that was before the walls got sealed up. So yeah, here you go. We are getting ready to start doing the painting right here on the inside. I ended up using one of those airless Harbor Freight uh, sprayers and it worked really good. It just took like two or three coats on the inside and this is like the first coat that I put down and um, ends up ends up working pretty good moves a whole lot faster than a roller and there's my cutie butt she's helped me there in the shop she's always been a big help for me on getting the things done we need to get done and there we are we're putting our ceiling in get it all sealed up for the winter time and there we go you can see the outside's all painted up and uh, again jesse and hannah they helped me out a bunch on getting that project done right there and uh, it's looking really good at this point yeah, there you guys can go. You guys can just kind of see how the shop is all coming together now. And I just wanted to put this video together for you so you guys can just kind of see all the things that's been going on in the background while I've been building the GTO. It's been kind of crazy, but uh, we're starting to get some things dialed down and uh, get really focused in on the goat there. But I just want to show you guys the shop build there. I thought it was a pretty cool deal and I uh, thought you guys might enjoy this video. But if you guys would, be sure to leave us a like and uh, be sure to share and comment down below. Thank you guys.